Five tips with combined spacecraft. Number one, frame. Before embarking on a journey with a combined spacecraft, be absolutely sure the center of thrust is lined up with the center of mass. Maintaining symmetry is ideal, such as docking end to end. Try keeping components of your spacecraft as sub assemblies or reconstruct mock-ups of your joining parts to ensure compatibility. Just like building a space station, spend some forethought to avoid the need for special adapters and test everything you can. With the power of subassemblies, reuse your correctly portioned modules. Loading portions of your total spacecraft to the launch pad can let you know if docking ports are going to couple. Number 2. RCS Ensure that each module has an even amount of thrust positioned around the center of mass. This will come into play later, as both a vital function while delivering each module and an imperative component of maneuvers in your completed vehicle. Large spacecraft require a lot of help repositioning, so be sure you have enough thrusters and plenty of monopropellant. Number 3. Multi-Port Docking Consider docking together more than one docking port. For extra stability, this construction style can prove somewhat challenging. Be sure to quick save before each docking, and never be afraid to undock a module and reposition it. Be sure and double check that each port displays an undock option. While docking multiple ports is challenging, it does lead to some interesting designs. Number 4. Staging Instead of docking heavy modules to the sides, dock them to the front or rear of your combined spacecraft. Right-click on your capsules or control brains to toggle things like torque or control from there. And always make sure you're controlling from the correct place before executing a maneuver. Either using decouplers or docking ports, be sure to design your craft so you can dump spent fuel tanks. Never be afraid to transfer fuel and reorganize your modules in transit. Number 5. Orbital Testing Always test your combined spacecraft in orbit of Kerbin. Practice making higher and lower orbits as a good test of your thrusters and your center of thrust. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for 5 tips flying with McJeb, which would save you a lot of time on a project like this.